All right, so this has been confusing me for the last while. All over TikTok on my For You page, wrestling TikTok appears on my For You page on TikTok all the time. There are people that are annoyed that Alexa Bliss is going back to the the creepy girl gimmick, you know, that she had. She had, she had the the face paint and the 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 pigtail, the pigtail buns and the doll. Uh, I think the doll seems Lily. Uh, <clears throat> People are annoyed that she's going back to that. Well, possibly going back to that. The evil Alexa Bliss gimmick because what I'm is what I'm talking about. All I gotta say is, why? Why are you why are they so annoyed about this? If you ask me, I'm actually happy that she's possibly going back to that. And the reason why is because I thought that was the only time she was ever interesting. What I was never the biggest fan of her. I mean, I always thought that her wrestling was passable. You know, it's good enough to, to where I can say that she can wrestle, okay? But when she first debuted on NXT with that fairy princess gimmick, that was a god-awful gimmick. It was terrible. And when, the, when she was on the main roster and she was on the rise, you know, she had a, a long, raw women's championship reign. Uh, she had that goddess gimmick. I thought that that was a very wishy-washy and unoriginal and not unique character, okay? I've talked about this before on, you know, I, I made a video of a problem I have with women's wrestling characters. A lot of faces and heels have the exact same type of gimmick. When Alexa Bliss was the goddess, she, she, just, she just acted like an immature high school bully. I thought that, that 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 gimmick was very overused and unoriginal. It wasn't unique at all. And then later on, you know, under Bray Wyatt's creative part, she developed this, you know, evil Alexa Bliss gimmick where she was the creepy little girl with the doll. I thought that that was the best gimmick she ever had personally. It was unique, you know. She 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 had a different type of character than most of the other women's wrestlers. When she got rid of that gimmick, she was a face, and she formed an alliance with Asuka and Bianca Belair. I thought that that face gimmick she had was also a very wishy-washy face gimmick, okay? Because it wasn't original. She just acted like the nice girl next door. I think that is an overused face gimmick, in my opinion. It's not unique. It's not original. The point I'm trying to make is, I think that it's good that she's going back to the evil Alexa Bliss gimmick, because I, that is the only time I ever found her interesting. That is the only time I found her interesting. Like I said, she's always had very stale characters, in my opinion, before the, the evil Alexa Bliss character. I always thought she was a passable wrestler. She was pretty good at wrestling. She's good enough to where I can say that she can wrestle, okay? The point I'm trying to make is, I think that, that the evil Alexa Bliss is the best character she had, because it was unique. It was different, and it was interesting. That's just my two cents. If you don't like that that character, then fine. But I do, and I don't know what to say. She's possibly going back to that gimmick.